Hi everyone, so today we shall be doing uh, multiplying variables and there is a general concept here or a general rule if you like and this is to multiply the numbers, add the powers and combine variables if needed and this, this will be all be explained very shortly. So uh, let's move on to the first equation here. Now here we have 2a multiplied by 3a. Okay, and if we just look up here at the concept, it says multiply the numbers. So 2 multiplied by 3 is 6. And add the powers. Well, we know that there's 1a and there's another a here. So surely 1a plus 1a is equal to 2a. So therefore, the answer is 6a2. Okay? Now here we have 2a squared multiplied by 3a squared. And this can be, writ be written as 2a squared multiplied by 3a squared is equal to x. Okay, and we are going to apply the same rule here. We are going to firstly multiply the numbers and 2 multiplied by 3 we know we know that this is equal to 6 and if we add the powers we have 2 here plus 2 here and we know 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 so the answer will be 6a to the power of 4. Okay. Now if we just go up to this equation here at the very top, we have 7b multiplied by 2b. And again, this is pretty straightforward. We just look at our concept again. And here we multiply the numbers first. So 7 multiplied by 2 we know is 14. And if we add the powers, 1b plus 1b is equal to 2b. So our answer is 4b2, and that is supposed to be a 2. Okay, so moving on, uh, we have 4a multiplied by a is equal to x. Uh, if we just apply the same rule here, we have 4 multiplied by 1, because there's one rule, sorry, there's one term of a here. So 4 multiplied by 1 is equal to 4. Then if we add 1a plus 1a is equal to 2a, so we have 2a2. Now, over here we have 5a4 multiplied by 2a2, and this is equal to x, and x is a number we're trying to find. So if we multiply the numbers, we have 5 multiplied by 2, and we know 5 multiplied by 2 is equal to 10 and if we add the powers we have 4 plus 2 is equal to 6 therefore our answer our value of, of x is equal to 10 a 6 and we are going to attempt another equation which is not listed here so if we have for example uh, 2a multiplied by 2b is equal to x. Now here we have one term of a and one term of b. Now as usual we will multiply the numbers together so we have 2 multiplied by 2 is equal to 4 and we have 1a added towards 1b. Well that doesn't quite make sense does it? So what we do here is that we combine the variables if needed and in our case it is needed. So if we combine a and b we will have a b and this is our answer. Okay so hopefully this has been quite clear if not then please leave a comment below and I shall do my best to get back to you. Thanks.